Welcome to You Must Need to Eat Here. Today we're located at Your Pie, 124 Bull Street in LaGrange, Georgia. Welcome to You Must Need to Eat Here. We are here at Your Pie in LaGrange, Georgia. And if you're not familiar with Your Pie, you're gonna wanna stop after this video. I'm here with Jared, another assistant manager, who is going to tell us, please tell us a little bit about your pie and all the things that we have the opportunity to take advantage of and eat here. Okay, well here at your pie, we uh, specialize in personal size pizzas, paninis, and, hand, or, and chopped salads. Uh, here basically it's kind of like a build your own thing where we'll start right here, we go down the line, we have all these toppings right here to, to, for you to choose from and we charge no premiums for any extra toppings. Which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so you can build your pizza up however you like to, or your salad however you like to. Uh, pizzas, we have uh, white dough, wheat dough, and gluten-free dough. Uh, uh, as we also do crustless pizzas for those who are uh, doing diets such as keto. Yes. Keto diet. Um, okay. So uh, we got some pizza dough right here. Go ahead and make, Perfect. Some, make a pizza right here for, for us today. And Jared, how long have you been in the restaurant industry yourself? Um, well, I started working at Your Pie in Peachtree City uh, okay. about two, about it was coming up about three years ago. So okay, two thousand yes, sixteen. I think. Okay, yeah. and transitioned down here after the opening mm -hmm. of Lagrange. Yes, yes ma'am. So a little yeah over a year then. It's 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 been we just had our first year anniversary uh, right. a month ago. Right, which is awesome. Okay, so you've become an expert at making pizza doughs, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I've gotten a little bit of practice in there. It's so fun. You can be able to try to do that. <laughs> so you have the ability here, and, and what I appreciated, that you went over all the different crusts. So anyone with any dietary needs can come into your pie. I personally have transitioned to the crustless. So, which is a great thing on a tray, and they put, I know, marinara and pesto or whatever you want on that too. But we're going with the white, white okay? Thing. And we have all our sauces right here at the beginning. We got marinara sauce, barbecue sauce, the hot sauce, basil pesto. We got some olive oil as well right here. We okay. uh, also have some ranch further down the line for those who like to that ranch. And some people like to combine sauces as well. I think we're going to combine sauce. today. It's oh, marinara yeah. and pesto. We enjoy that combination. It's amazing. Even the barbecue. I didn't even. I forgot about the barbecue sauce. Got a little bit of spice with it. So, do you have something that particularly sells more than others? Have you seen in the area? We have a couple signature pizzas okay. that you can choose from. Uh, some of the most popular ones are the lineage, which is a basic supreme pizza. Uh, we also have a big pop, uh, popular one is the Nat, which was named after the wife of the founder, uh, okay. Nat Natalie, but that's a really popular one. So. Okay, so they've also got signature pizzas too. I see the peach, uh, it's seasoned for peaches too. Did I see that on a sign? So we have a, every couple of months we have a new craft series. We call craft series kind of a, a seasonal pizza. Okay. Uh, this couple of months it's been the peach Prosciutto pie it is a limited time offer. It's an award-winning pizza. Okay. Uh, we, have, we do it every year, and okay. it's delicious. Well, if you're using Georgia peaches, of course it is, right? <laughs> All right. Then we got some of our cheeses right over here. Okay. We got shredded mozzarella, which is mm -hmm. the most popular, basic right. one. We got fresh mozzarella, feta cheese. We have ricotta cheese right over there, mm -hmm. and we also have provolone and parmesan down at the end as well. And we also have vegan cheese as well for okay. those who have dietary needs or allergy needs. I appreciate you guys offering so many options with that because you know you see it a lot. So we'll we'll do the shredded mozzarella. Okay, shredded mozzarella. Spread it around over here. All right, and what toppings? We got all, all our vegetable options right over here. Uh, everything from broccoli, spinach, mushrooms, onions. Uh, we have Roma tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, artichoke hearts. 
sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, let's put some garlic on there and some cilantro, yes. mushrooms, onions. We love all those. <laughs> The spinach on yours, huh, Kevin? Uh, we can do spinach as well. <laughs> <laughs> we like the spinach. Mm. Amazing choice. And it, it looks like a fresh. I know yeah. you guys keep a fresh supply of everything as well. Yes, ma'am. Like our this. vegetables and our meats are fresh. Um, Takes a lot of prep work in the morning, so I know to prepare. A bit everything. of prep work, but it's, it's worth it. It's yes, better. absolutely it is. So I you said onions, right? Yes. A little bit of spinach on there, too. You love that cilantro. Yes, favorites. I do, too. We d you don't have that at a lot of restaurants, but the option is great. Banana peppers? No? Okay. Olives? Olives? We've got olives, green peppers, banana peppers. We even have pineapple for some of those who like pineapple on their pizza. That's only a certain time that we can do something like that. And what else for y'all today? Uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni? Is that bacon. good for y'all today? And bacon? Yes. Is that good for you right there? That looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at that pizza. But yeah, that also meats we have. We've got ham, salami, turkey, bacon, chicken, classic pepperoni and sausage. Uh, instead of ground beef, we have meatball, which is made with ground beef. Okay. Which is pork. Okay. Enough. And we also Great got options. And those must be your option. peaches. And okay. Those are the peaches, right? And those there. are the peaches. Okay. Anything else on top of that? We're good to go. So it's time to. So what is the timing for a pizza to be in the oven? It takes generally about five to seven minutes, five to six minutes. Five to six minutes. Do you guys have a timer that you set so you can keep up with everybody's pizzas? Uh, the, it's uh, pretty much by sight for the most part. Okay. That golden brown crust, I'm yes, guessing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that is awesome. Because I know during your lunch hours, and I've seen the lines before when you have special days or, or like Pi Day 314, that line was down the street. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, it's crazy. That's pie day is our busiest day. Right, of the year. right. Kind of like Valentine's Day, but for your <laughs> pie, it's, it's the ultimate day. So, what is your favorite part about being in this kind of industry here uh, at your pie? My favorite part is uh, just make people happy, the smiles I see on yeah. customers' faces when they get a really get some really good food. Right, uh, right. Make them feel at home here. Okay, kind of wonderful. Thing. And like you said, when you've got so many options, you can offer something to everyone, literally, yes, too, which makes it. Well, thank you so much for your time today, oh, and thank pleasure. you for crafting our pizza. I know we look forward to tasting it oh, as well. It'll only be a few minutes. It'll be ready to go. This is golden brown. All the cheese and toppings look good. Take it out, put it on this cooling rack right here, and we move it to a peel right over here. Fun part. Oh, the fun part right here. Do a couple slices. And your pizza is all ready. All right, so now we're going to mix one of our uh, salads. Uh, so salads, apparently we take one of these giant bowls right here. Okay. We got, we generally start off with the question if you would like romaine, lettuce, or spinach, or a mixture of both. Uh, it's pretty varied. Those people get both, probably. I normally get both. I love both. Both? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Got a little bit of both in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Not there. too many places you can get fresh mozzarella. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> All right, and what other vegetables would you like to um, Let's go with the mushrooms. Garlic. 
you want some cilantro? Cilantro, yeah. yes, I know cilantro, you like this cilantro. I love it. Onions and a little bell pepper. I mean, jalapeno pepper. A little bit of jalapeno pepper. And fresh tomatoes. Of course. Bell pepper, black olives, and onions. Mom taught me to eat my vegetables. Oh. <laughs> All right. Any meats for you today? Um, let's just do some pepperoni. Some pepperoni. All right, and then to finish off a salad, I generally ask uh, if you like dressing in it or on the side. I like uh, maybe some vinegar and oil in the salad. Some, sorry? I think vinegar and oil. Oh, we have olive oil. Well, olive oil, that's fine. Right over here. Yeah, a good friend of mine, Paul Blair, taught me that. That's good. Oh, delicious. All right, anything else we get for you today, sir? That'll be all. All right, so I'll do the salad. Very fine. I think that's what makes it taste so great as well. It's all chopped up together. Oh, yeah. I was so telling Bob, well. I had a pizza here one time, and I was skeptical about trying the salads. And the salads are top of the line just like the pizzas are. <laughs> Beautiful, colorful, just like mom told me <laughs> to make it. And welcome back to You Must Need to Eat Here. We're at Your Pie in Grange, Georgia, and one of my favorite parts of the show, I get an opportunity to uh, taste the food. But we're with the owner of Your Pie in Grange, uh, Bob Bussers. Tell us your last name. I want to mess it up. Rosado. Rosado. Hey, is that something that goes in the food? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rosemary. Okay. So, uh, Bob, tell us about the concept and, and why did you bring your pie here to the Grand Store? Well, for us, it was a, uh, this is our second store. We have another one in Peachtree City. And one of the reasons that we did that, Kevin, was, was we bought into kind of the core values of your pie, which is a really, uh, really important uh, part of who we are as, as people. So we just thought that the concept of your pie, the quality of the food, you know, the, the reach out to the community, those those values that we had is, is really uh, embodied in, in, the, uh, in the corporate values of, of your pie. So to be able to bring it down here to LaGrange was, was a great honor, and we were accepted quickly by the community and the, and the business community, and it's been nothing but a great ride so far. Awesome, awesome. And, um, and more interview with Bob. Let me taste this pizza before it gets cold. Uh, I told Bob the first time I came into your pie and had your pie, a lot of the other pizza places I do not visit anymore because I am sold on your pie. And I'm going to try not to, to do this extraordinary. It's, it's already good. I know it's going to be good. So here we go. Salad, and I'm like, I'm not gonna chance it. I'm, I'm already sold on the pizza. So the very next.
next time I came to New York Pie, I tried a salad, and I was blown away by the salads as well. So, fuck it, the drum roll right quick before we take this. Yeah. Right quick. Drum roll, and y'all saw all the ingredients, olive oil, and shh. Do you remember when fresh was fresh? This is so fresh. Yeah. Once again, you tell us about your ingredients. The same ingredients in the salad. Yeah. And on the it's the same thing. Our, our greens are all cut every single day, sometimes several times a day, depending on our volume. But I think the thing that makes our chopped salads really, really so good is not like the fresh ingredients, but it's the actual chopping of the salad before it's served because it releases all that flavor and the different greens and the vegetables are released. So as those are released and served fresh, it's going to have maximum flavor. And that's, to me, the, the, the kind of the secret of those, those chopped salads. They're, I love them. You know, I don't eat enough of them, as you can tell. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, tell us about your hours here at Europe Power. 124 Bull Street. 124 Bull Street, okay. right, just off the, the Lafayette Square. Mm -hmm. And then our hours are 10 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. That would be Sunday through Thursday. And then Fridays and Saturdays were uh, 11 to 11. 11 to 11. Now, Bob, why are you, why is community so important to you? You, you, you talk about being active in the community. And, and sure. And why is that important? Well, because I think it's more, businesses all have a responsibility to, to, to be active members of the community, in my opinion. So we have always tried to reflect that in our business operations. So not only do we do, you know, benefit and supports and sponsorships and things to help, you know, areas of the community that are in need, um, but we, we really try to go out and do different things within the community, not only to create uh, an impact in the community, but you're, you're also building goodwill. And I think that that spills over to others. And, and if we can influence others to do the same thing, and it starts right inside of our store, we, we actually get our employees involved and have them uh, really understand what those core values are. And the more we can create that culture internally, we can take it externally pretty easily. Well, Bob, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for so much for bringing thank it. You. I personally thank you on camera. Thank you on camera for bringing to the Grange. Best pizzas and salads that you'll ever taste here in the Grange or surrounding areas. You need to visit here at your time. Uh, thank you for watching. You must need to eat here. And stay tuned because you never know where we will be located next. Hi, I'm Kenny. And I'm Stacy. And welcome to You, you must, must Need to, to Eat Here. here. Need to Eat Here will be a 20-minute cooking show highlighting our local chefs and restaurant owners preparing meals in their kitchens along with taste testing followed by an interview. We look forward to satisfying your cravings and tipping your taste buds with some delicious food on You Must Need to Eat Here. Also, please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you would like us to visit your restaurant, Please message us through Facebook Messenger at You Must Need to Eat Here or contact us by email at You Must Need to Eat Here at gmail.com.